one of the biggest problems us web developers have is about to be solved in 2025, and that is the customizable select that's being able to style a select drop down however you want. So check this out. I'm really excited about it. Customizable select allows you now to add any HTML and CSS to the select drop down and have full control over it as if it were just regular HTML and CSS on your page. So the way that this works is you open up a regular select box and you can go ahead and add an HTML. So here I'm adding some, some layout groups here. I'm adding some text. And then you have your regular options that you're used to in a select dropdown with your regular value. That's the value that's going to get submitted when you, you submit the form or when you call JavaScript value on it. And then inside of the option, you can put more HTML and CSS, right? So in my case, I have a span with the text that is selecting on it, right? Now, the new part of this is you have this sort of slot, which is called selected element. And the browser is going to take the option value and basically put that where the selected option slot goes. And then you can customize that selected option with CSS, right? So here I have some, some new CSS, right? Appearance based select that kind of resets it. And then I grab my selected option here. And I say font size 50 pixels. So I increase the font size and I hide the text, display none. So if I were to take both of those off, you'll see it's just duplicating the option that I currently have selected. But then you can go and the sky's the limit in terms of how you can style this thing. Because remember, you can put any HTML you want inside of the option value and it will show up in that selected. So I'm just going to hide the, the actual text there. Then we have a pseudo element picker. And that will show you how you can style the sort of drop down with CSS anchor positioning. That's going to be really flexible in terms of like where does this thing go, as well as what happens when it cannot fit where it's supposed to go. You can sort of fall back to the other ones. Um, by default, it has a check mark beside the checked value. So the before pseudo element can be either hidden or you can replace the contents and, and add any CSS you want to that. And then finally, just showing the selected option is is no different than before. You use the colon checked attribute and you can apply any CSS that you want to that specific option. It also works with multiple, which I thought was really cool. So if I change that to multiple, I can now use this just to allow people to select multiple things. And again, that's beautiful for form submit. It still works with all of the JavaScript and form APIs you're used to. So if I were to try to select the value from it, I get the value of that option. But then, of course, you can also change the value of it, right? So let me open it here. I'm going to change it to the mad emoji. You see, boom, it's reactive. <laughs> it uh, automatically changes the value that you have there. Now, I can hear you already. You probably already left the comment. Well, I can't use that for 47 million years because I have to support older browsers and it's going to take forever for Firefox to implement it. Here's the killer feature. Because it is just a select, it initially was not just a select, but part of the spec they did is they changed it to the existing select element so that browsers that don't support it will simply just render a regular select dropdown. How beautiful is that? It just gracefully degrades back to a regular select dropdown and it will work in older browsers. So where is it? It's currently in stage two, just about to hit stage three. Stage three means that it's pretty much done. The whole specification is done and browsers can start to implement it. You can turn it on in any Chromium based browser by going to Chrome or Edge colon slash slash flags and turning on experimental web platform features. Una Kravitz, who works for Google Chrome, has some awesome blog posts detailing both the parts of a customizable select, as well as some really nifty demos for different kinds of customizable select. So this little country drop down and this one where you can select your current currency. I think this is going to be really nice for building complex UIs without a whole bunch of third party components, custom JavaScript. You just can use a select and add CSS to it. Subscribe.